In this video, we're going to be going over five tips and tricks to maximize your efficiency in Roblox Studio. So for the first tip I have, it's to learn what each of these buttons right here do. You probably already know what the Explorer and Properties do, but there are lots of hidden things inside of these that can be really useful to your development process, such as the Asset Manager, which will allow you to import meshes from Blender. The Output that will allow you to check for errors in all your scripts, and there are so many more things just like this that can really help you in your development process. A second development tip for you to maximize your own efficiency is to organize and sort your workspace. Say I've got all these trees right here in my workspace. As you can see, they take up a lot of room in here, and they're just cluttering my space. But if I were to add in a folder right here into my workspace, just like that, and name this all over to trees, I can then grab each and every single one of these trees and just drag and drop them right into that folder, close the folder, now they're out of sight, and I can know where all these trees are without having to look at every single one of them in my workspace. This tip is also really useful in case you have lots and lots of assets such as bushes, rocks, other trees, and even paths. It can help you to find and locate where each of your assets are at any time while you're working. The next tip I have for you is to use plugins whenever you can, however you can. There are lots of handy plugins out there such as the Tool Grip Editor by Clone Trooper 1019. This one allows you to select a tool and automatically readjust it to fit your character's hand. There are also other plugins like Toggle Event Blocks. This is basically a plugin that will give you a drag and drop interface similar to Scratch on Roblox Studio in case you want to learn scripting like that. And there are even more plugins such as Building Tools by F3X that can really help you in your building design and process. Now for my fourth tip that I have for you is to always use hotkeys. Hotkeys are incredibly important in case you mess up or you just want to do things a lot faster. Say, instead of right clicking this tree and clicking on duplicate, then having to click over here on move and then move it, I can either control Z, which is another hotkey to undo that action, or I can just press control D to duplicate something, and then control 2 to select my move tool and move it over just like that. Hotkeys are incredibly useful and incredibly fast. Now my fifth and final tip to you, it doesn't improve efficiency all that much, but it's definitely great for optimizing your games and making sure it works for all players. Inside of the test tab, you can find the device emulator. This basically allows you to look at the game from a mobile player's point of view. This way when you play your game, you can move like a mobile player does, you can jump like a mobile player does, and you can even test out all your scripts as a mobile player to make sure they all work as they should be. And for my final bonus tip, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment down below. This one's especially useful.